In this video, we're going to talk about the top five tools you would need as a structured cabling technician. When I was in the field, I didn't know which tools to use. So if you watch this video, you'll know how to get started on your first day. So check this out. Hi, I'm Blake, founder of Low Voltage Nation, where we help other people carve out a fulfilling career path in low voltage and technology. If you wanna learn more about being a structured cabling technician, this video is for you. First off, we have the snips, or sometimes they call them scissors. These are pretty common. These are the Klein Tools ones, and then you know, Southwire makes some, Knipix makes them. But these are really good for doing data cable, especially because you, it's a little more precise when you're cutting wires and then sometimes scoring the cable. So get you a good pair of snips or scissors. Next is a pair of cutters, or sometimes they call them diagonals or dikes. These are really good if you're doing access control, fire alarms, but if you just need to just quickly cut a cable, uh, these are really good because a little more heavy duty than the scissors. So if you're doing a uh, thicker gauge, these are very important, but Milwaukee makes a really good one. But yeah, get yourself a pair of cutters. So if you're doing data cable and you run into a 66 or a 110 block, you're gonna you're, you're gonna need a punch down tool. Also, if you're doing just straight up keystones, I highly recommend getting some sort of punch down keystone tool. Vertical cable probably makes one of the best ones. Uh, there's also one from Datacom Electronics, but these essentially will help you quickly punch down keystones as opposed to doing you know, 66 110 block, but this is uh, going to come in handy quite a bit. So get yourself a good punch down tool. Get yourself a 66 110 and also a keystone jack tool. Next is a crimping tool. This is RJ45, RJ11, just regular ones by Klein Tools. This is my preferred one. Uh, some people like the pass through uh, RJ45. So this is by Simply45. This is a really good, these are both really good tools. And then even though punch down is the preferred method, you're going to encounter this quite a bit. So getting a good crimping tool is a necessity. Lastly, and often overlooked is the label printer. So if you show up on the job site with a proper label printer to label your cables, your patch panels, your wall plates, you're gonna be setting yourself apart. So this is of paramount importance to, to keep things documented and labeled. So get yourself a good one. I really love the brother. This is the PTE 550W. This is a workhorse right here. It does patch panels, wall plates, flags, all that good stuff. But get yourself a good label mate and get into the habit of labeling all your cables, super important. So if you wanna learn more about these tools, click the links in the description. Also, if you wanna join our exclusive low voltage community, go to join.lowvoltagenation.com. We've got consultants, technicians, business owners, manufacturers, suppliers, distributors, all in one big community, helping each other be successful in their career and as they start their business. So join.lowvoltagenation.com. All right, thanks for watching, peace.